Okay, so we have an overpass uh, in the form of an ellipse. At least the top half is an ellipse. And we want to know what is the tallest 12 foot uh, wide truck that will fit in the overpass, right? If it's too tall, it's going to you know, destroy the uh, truck and possibly kill the driver. So we want to make sure that the truck fits. Um, okay, so let's do this problem. So solution. So this is the picture that's given in the problem, right? It gives us the height of the overpass and how wide the overpass is. So what we'll do is put the x-axis and the y-axis right at the center. So this will be the x-axis, right? And then this will be the y-axis. Let's go ahead and draw a line there. That's the y-axis, so y-axis. All right, um, so this is the equation of an ellipse. We can come up with it somehow. So if this width here is 20, that means this point here is 10 comma 0. So 10 comma 0. And this point here should be negative 10 comma 0. And this point here will be 0 comma 15. So these are the um, endpoints of the ellipse. And you'll notice that uh, 15 is bigger than 10. So the major axis is vertical. So the major axis is vertical in our ellipse. So the general formula for an ellipse with center 0, 0 and a major axis being vertical is x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. Right? a is always bigger than b in an ellipse. So in this case, b is the smaller number, so it'll be x squared over, let's identify a and b. A is going to be 15, and B is going to be, looks like 10. So it's going to be X squared over 100 plus Y squared over, A squared is 225, right? A squared, 15 squared is 225. And this is equal to 1. So now we have to somehow answer the question, right? We've altered the picture that they gave us. We wrote down the equation of the ellipse through the picture, and now we actually have to answer this. So the tallest 12-foot wide truck that will fit through the overpass without you know, killing the driver and destroying the truck. Well, let's draw a picture of the truck. Uh, it feels like if the truck is going to fit, and we want it to be as high as possible, and it's 12 feet wide, that half of the truck should be here, and half of the truck should be here. Right, because if you go a little bit to the left, oh, it's going to crash. If you go a little bit to the right, oh, it's going to crash. So it seems like it needs to go through dead center. Okay, so here, that means x is 6, right? So all we'll do is plug in 6 here and then solve for y. That should give us the tallest possible truck that will fit through the overpass. So if you plug in 6, you get 6 squared over 100 plus y squared over 225 equals 1. So if you subtract this piece, you get y squared over 225 equals 1 minus 36 over 100, right? Because 6 squared is 36. Let's keep going. So we end up with y squared equals, multiply this by 225 and multiply this by 225. So you get 225, parentheses, 1 minus 36 over 100. Take the square root of both sides, you end up with y equals the square root, what's oh, a giant square root? 225, 1 minus 36 over 100. Putting this into the calculator gives exactly 12 feet. So is the answer 12 feet? Not really. We want to know the tallest truck that will fit. So uh, I mean, what if it what if it touch it touches that 12 feet? So we really want to be uh, safe here. So let me just say just under 12 feet, just for safety reasons, right? Especially if you're the one driving the truck. Kind of a, a cool problem, I think. I hope this helps someone out there.